Hello everyone, this is Ardwick. As we wrap up this project, uh, let's do a little side video here and uh, explore a little bit of the uh, background of the game. There are a few things we can do in Mario's house, actually, uh, and it's primarily going to be with letters and with a little something else. I believe we read some of these earlier, but uh, we're going to take another chance to look at them. We never did meet this child, or at the very least, if he's actually in the game, I don't actually remember. Now, her we met a few times. And I think this is the only time she ever actually says anything in her, with her own voice. Now, I'm going to be going through these uh, letters kind of quickly just because you guys can read the text. I'm not going to read them out loud. But I think it's a nice little amount of uh, flavor text here, and we get a chance to see these characters and what they do when, you know, when we're not seeing them. So, it's kind of fun. Plus, I have to admit, I do like the uh, the little drawings that accompany the letters. That one sort of looks like it comes from Animal Crossing, actually. It's cute. Yeah, I really like the little drawings to go with them. It really... It's it's a little fun addition because it gives us a, uh, a chance to see the characters doing a little bit of something else, as I said. And this is sort of something you don't really see with... Uh, with games all the time. Certainly not with the Paper Mario games anymore, I'm afraid. You don't really see characters in Paper Mario games. Or at the very least, the newest one. Maybe someday they'll make a better one. By which I'm referring to, um, Sticker Star. And I swear this will be the last time I complain about it. I am finished in that regard. Yeah, but see, look at this. This is cute. See, normally you wouldn't really remember that NPC because you don't get to go to that village too often. But she was the first normal NPC we, we saw at the beginning of our adventure, so... You know, it's a nice little throwback. Ah, yes, the cookbook. The one we never actually used during the adventure. Huh. Forgot the Colorado sent us two letters. That's kind of neat. Hmm, indeed. Oh, uh, you could never pull that off, even if you tried. The call of adventure is too, uh... Too loud and too enticing for you. It's like a siren call. Oh, look at that. Something about that picture there screams N64 for me. Maybe it's because of, uh... Yoshi's story, something about that. But it has a very classic feel to it. Is it me or is his nose misshapen in that drawing? Rolf, that is. Oh, I guess is the last letter. That's sort of a cute picture, too. I don't really know how they wrote it to us, mind you, because they're plants. But it's sort of fun at the same time. I sort of wish I had postcards like that. Whenever somebody sent me a postcard, they do a little doodle or drawing with it. That sounds like a really fun art project to do, actually. Just send letters to people and have drawings in all of them. Oh, okay, so the other thing here is Luigi's uh, diary here. So we get to see what Luigi was up to when we were uh, off on our own adventure. And see, look at that. They uh, reference uh, golf and uh, party games for the uh, N64. Classic. It's sort of funny, actually. Oh, this is important, actually. He met Bootler, actually, I believe. This is the first time they actually revealed this fact. Um, you might think it would have been uh, Luigi's Mansion, where he reveals that he's terrified of ghosts, but this actually came before that game. So this actually is a little bit of foreshadowing. Which is really neat. Let's see. I suppose if you're at this point in the game, you would try to... Uh, that's clever. I suppose if you're at that point in the game, that would give you a hint about where to find the, uh, the level.
Uh, I was going to say something else, but I've already forgotten what I was going to say. Oh, I was going to say that it's uh, amusing how even in 2001 the characters are already feeling reminiscent and nostalgic of older days. Because 2001 was 11 years ago. It's 2013 right now. I was like, what, 11 years old at the time? And I suppose even then I could feel a sense of nostalgia. It's crazy. Yes, you do. Even back then. See, that's more foreshadowing. They knew at that point that Luigi's Mansion was coming out. Which turned out to be a very fun game at the same time. Although it played on his fears, so maybe Luigi didn't like that very much. I want to go back and play Luigi's Mansion again sometime. Not for recording, because that ship's already sailed, but just for fun. I know uh, Brennan likes that game. Uh, let's see here. A lot of pages in this diary. Oh, we're talking about more clues. Uh, this would have helped you if you had come back here at some point in the game. Like when you were uh, in the uh, ice area. If you've been putting on weight, we certainly haven't shown it over the years. Oh, that was probably us when we were heading towards uh, Bowser's Castle. Anyone could have pieced that together, though. Oh. Whoa. Well, Mario wasn't here the whole time. He could have easily slept on the top bunk. You know, so to claim priority over the house. This may, this is, may as well be Luigi's castle. He practically lives here. Although, actually, I think in um, Luigi's Mansion 2, we actually moved into his new mansion. Like, they actually showed it in the uh, intro sequence. He uh, literally lives in his own house now. So, sort of nice character development. Luigi's moving up in the world, very slowly. And that's it. So that's all the bonus content in that regard. Final episode to come shortly. Stay tuned and good night.